our two favorite couples, um, new technology and tips for cuffing season. Stay tuned. I'm Jacqueline. And I'm Katie. Well, to start, we're talking about Ariana and Pete. If you have not heard, Splitsville for those two. What a surprise. Yeah, what but a shocker. I think we all saw it coming a little bit. <laughs> yeah, no. I it coming. It's been a tough time lately for her. Yeah. Uh, I, I feel bad for her, but anyone who gets engaged within three weeks of dating, sorry. I just don't think it's going to. Yeah, no. They started dating in June, right? <laughs> yeah, they started so it dating was in June, June. And then two weeks later, they got engaged. Mm -hmm. And then they broke up. They After broke they, up. they moved it's in together, short. bought a pig. Bought a pig. Piggy got, like, Smalls. Got like Piggy Smalls. matching tattoos. Yeah, oh and my like, goodness. Offspring. But, um, yeah. <laughs> but they have custody worked out with that, I think. Yeah, oh she got the gosh. house. She got the pig and the house. Yeah. Well, she has she probably the pig, the house, and the career, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I saw Repeat. on Twitter, <laughs> there's a GoFundMe and it's called Pete Davidson is Homeless. <laughs> and they're raising money so he doesn't have to sleep on the streets and eat McDonald's scraps. So if you like want to donate to the cause, he's having a real tough time. Don't donate. Don't do that. He has, he has enough money. What? No, that out. please. He's homeless. <laughs> I <written. laughs> He has, so they were going over. Um, the tattoos, and he had her bunny ears tattooed behind her neck, mm -hmm. and so that's covered up with a big heart right now. Oh, really? She has Pete on her, one of her fingers, and so that's being covered up. Um, they have their their dates tattooed on their bodies. He has her favorite anime tattooed on his arm. Oh my god! He yeah. has a tattoo of the pig. Yep, and as and well. that. Mm -hmm. and so, he doesn't yeah. even have the. Oh my. Um, and now, oh. so. But it's I read mess. that he feels happy that he will always have it with him. Good. That too, Good. Bad. I'm really happy for Even him. Even if it's not. His He's good heads. Exactly. I think. Does I anyone think know where He's Pete okay. is? Has Pete Everyone been spotted be okay. breathing since this has no. happened? Oh, that's the real question. Where is Pete? No. <laughs> Hashtag where's Pete? Oh my gosh. So what sparked this? What, what, what have we found that sparked this breakup? I think it has something to do with the way Pete talks about Ariana in the media or how he talked about her. And SNL. Yeah, and on SNL, he's like, I get he's a comedian, and me too, obviously, so I say some weird things sometimes, but I never, if I ever got the opportunity to have a boyfriend in the first place, those are not We'll get to that later. <laughs> later. <laughs> those are not the types of things I would be saying about him on TV, especially after all of the traumatic things that she's experienced this past year one of them was when they were when he was on SNL they were talking about the prenup oh yeah the prenup yeah and so he was just like basically saying that he doesn't see them together it's like maybe we'll be together but maybe we won't be but if we are oh, yeah but we might not be I read that too he's so yeah. he said that was kind of a hint about like he doesn't want her to take all his sneakers but the truth is like she already made more money on Victorious's cat than he'll ever make in his whole life, so I don't even know what he's talking about. That's very true. And he That's also true. <laughs> he also made a comment about how um, Ariana like pays like sixty grand a month in rent, and all he has to do is fill the fridge. Like, really, girl? Hey. She's a feminist. Can we yeah. just talk about how right. weird he is, though? Because with his last girlfriend, oh, he's cute, but with his <laughs> last girlfriend, he got her name tattooed on him or something. Didn't he? Yeah. And so then, this is a trend. Yes, it's a huge trend. And then that was covered up by something for Ariana. Huh. So he's just a clingy dude. Get ready for the Tory tattoo next. Yeah. Do we think... We'll be, we'll be looking. <laughs> no, me too. Do we think they'll get back together? I heard um, that maybe it might be a rumor. Yeah. I don't know. I don't never think, know. I don't think it's a rumor. I think it's pretty official just with how many places have done. Like CNN covered it. Mm. Um, but I think that they could get back together. Well, I'm assuming if Seems the tattoos legit. are covered up that they're pretty, pretty yeah. over it. Oh, I guess. I would say. I don't know. What if he wants to get them uncovered? 
Well, then he's going to have to rip his skin off scratch. and grow some new skin. <laughs> I don't know what to tell him. Skin crap? I'll donate. I'll donate my skin to Pete Davidson <laughs> for new tattoos. I would. It's all yours, baby. I got a lot of <laughs> But, okay, so for more on why they broke up, I think that part of it was because of um, Mac Miller. Yes. On a serious note, definitely. I think that probably put some strain on their relationship and just her mental yeah. health in general. And that's hard because... And with the shooting or the bombing yes. that happened at her concert, so she's obviously that's that. a lot of mental health mm -hmm. and a lot of emotions. So I'm sure she doesn't feel like she can invest completely yeah. right now and into one person weird on and not herself. Too, because like you're in a relationship with a girl whose ex-boyfriend, very serious ex-boyfriend just killed himself. Right. And so she still has some sort of love for him. Right. Especially, but, um, definitely. like, when a loved one dies from an overdose, it's so much more complicated. Like, not mm. to, like, down put, or downgrade other deaths, but, like, an overdose like that, it's, it's just so tough trying, like, I don't know, my sister's an addict, and she has done some stuff like that, and it's just, like, you feel totally helpless, and you don't... Like, I couldn't imagine, like, if she were to pass away the way that Mac Miller did, I would be completely devastated for so long. Yeah. So, yeah. Definitely going to take some time for her to recover, so maybe. That's a lot. Ellie Hash. That's She's lot. making another album, know. though. I'm ready for bangers. Hey. Banger She's got the voice of an angel. She does. She's she beautiful. Really does. You know what? She's a great human God being. I know I hit on Pete on this show, but I actually want to be hitting on Ariana. So, I'll donate my to Ariana instead. <laughs> God, she's so beautiful. She is. She is. She is. She's she is. fantastic. On a beautiful note, Pete Davidson was getting death threats for dating her. And also, he was being um, talked to on the streets by men you would say were ugly. And they were saying that he, he gave them hope because That's he was beautiful. so ugly. That is he was dating Ariana Grande. Beautiful. That's well, really I've, nice. I've heard <laughs> some comments that his eyes look similar to a body feature I am not allowed to speak about <laughs> on air. But let me just state that this man has Crohn's disease. It's an autoimmune disease, and he can't help it. I have two. So I look a little rough sometimes, and it, just, it really hurts my feelings when people make fun of his eyes because he can't help it. Man. I think he's cute, though. He is. I think Crohn's he's very attractive. In, in an odd way. In a very odd way. <laughs> Absolutely. Heard of some rumors that he might have... Um, been a little jerk with sending Mac Miller those pictures. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm very skeptical about that. Apparently, Pete sent um, Mac pictures of him and Ariana being lovey dovey, so that might have really pushed her over the edge. So, could have we'll triggered stay something tuned with Mac. on that, mm -hmm. definitely, mm -hmm. with That's Mac and yeah, their relationship. That's like one of the most junior high things. That I is massive. Very uh, immature, Pete. Yes. Grow up. Especially with Max, my advice, like, stability. B right, right, and just right. How do you even get his number? Yeah, well, <laughs> is that you? <laughs> yeah, directory. I mean, it's <laughs> it's in the phone, phone book. book. Miller Mac. <laughs> <laughs> wow, who knew? All of our favorite celebrities were in the phone book. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to buy one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do you guys remember JWoww? Just to like switch things up and -Wow. but keep talking about breakups. JWoww from Jersey Shore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So she was married to Roger, and they had that kid, and they had that whole show with um, um, Snooki. Yes. Yep. So Roger and Jenny are supposedly getting a uh, divorce. No J -Wow. way. The infamous JWoww and Roger. JWoww, more like JWoww. She's single. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, but that is That's sad. sad. They, they went through all of Jersey Shore together. Well, like, the majority of it. It's my childhood. I know. I don't know how I it feel. That's childhood. a little heartbreaking. They I don't like, know if you should have brought that up right now. they should have talked about In this their divorce with state. their fans first. Definitely. Like, I think they should have talked to us about yeah, that. Yeah, I should have had a little gone. bit of a warning. Yeah. I know. Yeah. That's Dear tough. celebrities. Please tell everyone Please talk the to second us. you get divorced. Please talk to us <laughs> about it before or you Or even if you're that. fighting. Even if you're on yeah. the rocks. Tell us everything. We would like to know. Yeah. I'm so Shot to the heart. torn about g -Z and Halsey, though. That was they a while ago. No, that's they actually did? Yeah. Are you serious? Sure? No, they're back. To check their Are Instagram. You I swear. I they were at least for a little ladies bit. Ladies and gentlemen. I only stalk them because I like embarrassingly find G Easy attractive. It's I like, know oh, he is. I should I not. No. Why shouldn't you? Is that a thing? And her. That's just me. 
Both. No, well, they both, both are. <laughs> That's both scary, which I'd like to be in the middle of. <laughs> They're both very attractive people and they belong together. Absolutely. That's wonderful news. Yeah. Wonderful. Only beautiful, yes. positive things and today. Courtney Kardashian and her 25 <laughs> year old boyfriend broke up. So. Oh, boo. Tragic. Speaking of the Kardashians, did you see that Kanye met with Trump? Oh, we saw it. I think the whole world did. Ugh. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Watch that whole. Yeah. Spiel. Did you watch it? I did. What are your I watched thoughts? the SNL version. It was like a half yeah. an hour. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to, but no, it was like a half an hour of a live recording from in the Oval Office, him and Trump, and it was interesting. Hmm. I know that it they was talked cute. about good things. Ooh. Like Kanye wanted to use his platform for a lot of African American issues, such as um, what were they? Prison reform, the African American yeah. unemployment rate and the surge of violence <laughs> in his area of Chicago. Yeah. So he used his platform for good, which I is nice. I like that. I like, to, I like to hear that. Mm -hmm. How serious was it? <laughs> it was, it had some serious moments, surprisingly, mm. but they were joking around a lot too, so. The SNL skit was hilarious. Yeah, the SNL skit made and that's, me laugh. That's, I didn't watch the real one, that so that's how I pictured good. it. Really, I just remember hearing like, Kanye said something about how the Make America Great Again hat made him feel like he had superpowers. And people were ripping on him for that, but let me tell you, a good hat can make you feel like you can fly, baby. <laughs> so true. But that's in, not a good hat, in my opinion. We should have yeah. our hats on right now. Oh, he, did, boat. <laughs> <laughs> he did bring up in the Oval Office that he wanted him to change the hat logo to Make America Great and not Make America Great Again. And not because of racial... Oh. Things, but because they shouldn't be thinking about the past at all. That he went like really spiritual and was just he saying that we all Kanye. we only have right now. So I mean, that's true. Live in the moment. Did he talk about change his IQ? the logo? We'll see if Trump goes his to that. IQ? I'm, he did. Okay, because he that said was, it was very. Skit. He said it was <laughs> very high. That's what he said. I was he's surprised. Like, I'm so smart. Yeah, my words are great. I just, I find it funny that Kanye was, I'm pretty sure Kanye was the dude who, like, went on TV and said, George Bush hates black people. And he now, did. Yeah, he did. And now he's meeting with Donald Trump, who, like, we all know is, does. is racist. Like, please argue with me yeah. on that after the show. I have time. But <laughs> it, it's just crazy. Like, why, what? He I, was defending him saying that he wasn't racist. It didn't really make much sense. I don't know. Trump I think he's a little... It's Trump, like I think literally they're both said hmm. that the rapper could very well be a future presidential candidate. God bless America. Wow. So look for Kanye in this Proud upcoming be election because <laughs> I can't wait. Hmm. Could be a thing. Well, then maybe Pete Davidson should run too. <laughs> <laughs> Pete versus Kanye. Kanye would completely win though. That's yeah, not, I I think I think Pete would fair. vote for Kanye over himself too. That's, that's not even <laughs> fair. Oh man. I hope I he's gonna, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag where's Pete? <laughs> Hashtag where's Pete? Hashtag but where's like on another note, I, like I said, I think it's very good that Kanye did use his platform to talk about what he talked about. And who was the, um, it was Kanye and then the football player. Yeah, I didn't know who he was. So he was, I, he was oh, a football player was years a football ago. Player. Okay. I'm trying to remember. I don't know sports. It was Keenan Thompson on SNL. In what I watched, yeah. So. Yeah. But that was nice. So we have. Yeah. Two people with a large impact talking about true things that matter. Mm -hmm. like to touch to back on breakups, I find it surprising <laughs> as like rewind, okay. rewind, <laughs> rewind. Um, Hold you on. know Kanye and Kim, they're married, dating, whatever. And I feel like Kim has like previously kind of been like anti-Trump, not anti-Trump, but she's definitely had more like democratic, not democratic. That's not the word I'm thinking of. But she, whatever, she's not Trump. That's what I'm trying to say. So I think it's just kind of weird how like. Lately, Kanye's just been on this, like, oh, my God, I love Trump so much rant and, like... I just think he's doing it for attention. He's just doing it to tick people off, and then he's going to come back with it. And so we can drop five more <coughs> mediocre albums. <laughs> well, we've, we've Yandi coming up, right? When I already forgot about Yandi, it. Yandi, Black Friday. He's recording it no right now way. in Uganda, Africa, I think. Huh? Oh, in Africa that's somewhere. Have a little so that's where him and Kim are right now. You think he's wearing his hat okay. in Africa? He is, and he's. Oh, instead <laughs> of food for the African children, he brought mini Yeezys. So he brought the oh. mini Yeezys. Mini white Yeezys this for is the African confirmed. children. Check those feet. 
Oh my god, they're gonna eat them. <laughs> no. they don't I have know, food but I was water. so sad. Like they, went, that, they don't that's have not like, first priority. <laughs> like, necessities. I'm sure he gave them that too, but he's right. broadcasting right. just the shoes. Hmm. Truly, <laughs> truly, I choice. feel like his heart is in the right place with these, with what he's advocating. But he definitely talked a lot about um, just money and industry with yes. Trump. So that's what yes. they have in common. It's all about his. Both of their empires, mm -hmm. and um, I think he's using his political platform for that. The so, SNL skit talked know. about that too. They talked about how um, they're very similar people when it comes yeah. to business and drive and money, mm -hmm. and I think that's very clear. You can yeah. definitely see that. Twins. Well, and that's sad that you have to represent Kanye to Donald Trump, but they're both Gemini's. Are they? Yes, Maybe they are. Maybe that's just a Gemini thing. Oh, Gemini's are crazy. Oh. I'm what a Gemini. You, you're a Gemini? Ooh. Oh, you are? <laughs> We've I'm got our crazy. Kanye Trump triplet <laughs> over here. Ooh. Can relate. Bonkers, I tell you. Yeah. What? Well, we're going to take a little break right now and look at some adorable animals in a segment we call Perfect Pets. Marmalade. I'm one and a half years old. Or if you want, you can call me Chirps because I like to chirp when I play. I'm super friendly, so please adopt me. My name is Zen, also known as the Gentle Giant because I love to cuddle. I'm not always the most energetic, but put a feather in front of me and watch me go. Hello. My name is Bear. I've been here one year, and I love people and trying to catch this feather. To find out more about adoption, contact La Crescent Animal Rescue at 507-895-2066. Welcome back, everyone. It's your favorite host, and we are on to some new technology. Jacqueline, would you care to fill us in? Snapchat works for cats now. So, <laughs> if you have oh a my cat, goodness. check out Snapchat, because it'll work. I, for one, am glad to see the equality of dogs and cats now on Snapchat. It's, I think it's great. it was a long time coming. Mm -hmm. They deserve it. It works on dogs? No. So, okay. On some breeds some of dogs. Some breeds. It did. Mm -hmm. And now it will work for all dogs and cats. Yep. And Snapchat's dog racist question mark? <laughs> <laughs> Snapchat racism? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's bad. That was bad of me. <laughs> Snapchat works on one of my dogs, one of three. Are well, they different makes, breeds? That makes sense, yeah. I have two Shih Tzus and one Wiener Dog. So did it work on the Wiener Dog and no, not the Shih Tzu? No, it worked oh. on the Shih Tzu, on my white Only Shih Tzu, not the black Shih Tzu, on the white one. Okay, if we're going to talk about racism. Okay, no, but that is just color. <laughs> like that. You can't really <laughs> see her face. Right. But she tries anyway. She loves to take little snap videos. When and they're holds. cute. They're, oh, look at that. Yeah, check They're them so out. adorable. Cute. That is cute. Oh. You know, it almost doesn't but, look like a filter. Like, but also, we live in a world where we use Snapchat on our animals, so I'm not, I don't really like to talk about this, but I thought it was kind of interesting. I think we have to stay updated. Well, I do. think people should know if they can put filters on their We should. The it's an important topic. Know. Yes. I did read that apparently their ratings have gone down drastically in the past few months like absurdly so from 3 million to 100 and yeah 180 million the in like fact three months. that this is the best they could come up with <laughs> i don't know but hopefully it works yeah that they yeah snapchat stops those ratings. yeah snapchat yeah. loses subscribers and then they make it work for animals and that's yeah, exactly. they think it's going to get their ratings back up <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. my media Weird. professor told me that snapchat's not going to be along for much longer so I don't think so either. So Rapid fire out those out. selfies. Yeah. I didn't realize though. Yeah. But now we're just gonna have to go back to texting like oh, no. what is this B C <laughs> times? Email? <laughs> AOL Messenger. Yeah. Add me. Tori. Dot K T Rock. Tori dot egg <laughs> slash scrambled. <laughs> T scrambled. T scrambled. I also read somewhere that Netflix is bad for the environment because um, so Say much energy what? is needed to keep this flowing that it's the equivalent of using three, um, like, incandescent light bulbs. Light bulbs, yeah. 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 So if you're watching Netflix, they um, suggest that you watch it on your phone because that uses less electricity, less yeah. um, energy. So 
that's probably a better yeah better they option say to go that the that. most um, energy is used on streaming videos in general so mm -hmm. Netflix movies YouTube videos everything so to just be aware of that and yeah use your phone because this energy is coming from carbon-based fossil fuels and that's the thing that scientists think is raising global climates yeah non -renew renewable renewable right energy so. sources mm -hmm. yeah I mm -hmm. read and it's interesting um, the big companies are doing really well with using renewable energy sources Good. but not so much the small ones so that's what they're tackling mm. so I don't really know like maybe some it's hard companies. because I went through 14 seasons of um, Grey's Anatomy this summer oh my god so. <laughs> or should you cry <laughs> that is um, okay I'm like just finishing it now so I'm like getting into it but Wait, I did cry a lot I cried are a you lot. caught up two with ago. I'm in this season 14 season right now I just started so today the new season is 15 though Yes. That's on air right yes. now. Okay, because I'm caught up and I'm so watching. So I'm that in on episode Hulu. three of fourteen. So we need to start watching on our phones. Yeah, but yeah. definitely get not a bigger stop phone then. Watching I Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> I don't know. Jeez. Well, my tip for this Netflix extravaganza: we should just go back to playing with sticks and making mud pies. Because I still do that, and I'm 20, and it's fun. I think anyway. so too. Agreed. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so let's go over some, new sh some shows yep. that we have at WMCM. <laughs> the University of Wisconsin La Crosse brings you a weekly student newscast. Important news. Movie critiques. Weather forecasts. Sports highlights. And local interviews. UWL's own WMCM, run by the students, for the students. Every Thursday at 4.30 on Campus Channel 200 and Charter Channel 989. Are you a movie fanatic? Tune in on WMCM TV's Screening Room, Tuesdays at 2.45 or 4.30. You can watch on channel 200 and charter 989. See you on Tuesdays for Screening Room. Welcome back again. Now we're going to talk about the best part of the year, cuffing season. What it is, Woo! some tips. Well, why, help why you we out. get it? Why, yeah. why does this happen? Well, what is this what is, phenomenon? What is cuffing, cuffing season? season? <laughs> cuffing season, in my humble opinion, it's around this time of year, people are realizing like, oh my God, I'm lonely. So they're like, I need someone to go to pumpkin patches with. I need someone to drink some apple cider with, maybe go to Thanksgiving so my parents don't keep asking me why I'm single. So you just go on the street, find some old six out of 10, and you're just like, yep, this is who I'm gonna date for four months. <laughs> Then after Valentine's Day, maybe even before, if you don't want to spend money on someone you don't even like that much, you're just like, get out of here. <laughs> then we have dumping season, which we'll talk about that next semester. Give you some tips for dumping season. I have survived oh. many dumping seasons. <laughs> and you're, doing, you're going strong. I'm doing okay. just fine. I'm, fine. Doing, I'm doing it's great. Prevalent. <laughs> See, I think that cuffing season happens because of, one, the cold weather. You want somebody to cuddle with, and it's, I think that's just like... Stay inside, not big, much big else to do. Big, cuddling person. Mm -hmm. And then secondly... I think that it also happens because of, um, like, like you said, holidays, Christmas and Thanksgiving. You don't want to be alone. And I think that what's it called? Like the when you get depressed because seasonal of the weather. Depression. Seasonal depression. Yep, seasonal mm -hmm. depression. I think that that's another factor mm. in why you don't want to be alone. So that makes sense to me. Delicious. Yeah, summer you <laughs> want to be single and free and warm and crazy and Definitely. winter. It's it's sad. Yeah, a little, it's you sad. Down a little bit. You know, yeah, sad. You, know. you want to watch the Grinch with someone. You can make yeah. you smile. Bake some uh, cookies. Bake some cookies. Hold hands. Go ice skating. So much to do. <laughs> Go to Instagram. the rodeo. So much to do that you don't want to do alone. <laughs> in yeah. winter. Yes. And late fall. <laughs> totally understand cuffing season. It's a crazy thing. I love, just, actually, you know what, just wait. You just watch and see how many of your friends are going to all of a sudden have a new boo. Ew. And then wait and see how long it takes for them to break up. My guess is three months. Count it. <laughs> Quote me on it. Look. At me. Well, it goes, it goes from, what, it goes from October 
November, December, January to February, right? Because yeah, that's like if the you make fall it to Valentine's winter. Day if you're special yeah. enough. Oh, right. Yeah. Yep. If you right make it past Valentine's, Valentine's Day, Day, you're in the clear. But yeah. Not, not you get five months. That's a good like that's four it. months that you. Yeah. yeah you're four months of your life that you'll never get back. Hmm. Choose be wisely. Aware. Yeah. Choose, yeah. choose wisely. wisely and be aware. You may choose a six out of ten. Sucked in. Six out of ten. With good lighting. You guys have any tips? Do you are you guys in relationships? I'm in a relationship. Boo. Absolutely not. Boo. I'm hey. sorry. Um, what are you doing this cuffing season? Hey girl. Hey girl. <laughs> We're set. No, we are. I I'm can't excited. wait to break up. <laughs> I guess my Gifts, tips for please. cuffing season would be don't do it. Like, no, it's stupid. I think dating is stupid. I think liking <laughs> other people is stupid. Why would you do that to yourself? Oh. Like, Feelings. people can like me all they want. I welcome it. Please like me. But I'm not going to like you back because that's too much effort. And I have a sensitive heart. <laughs> Believe it or not. <laughs> that's my tip for cuffing season. Don't do it. Tori, just wait we for the right fragile. guy. Pete Davidson I think is that, the right guy. I think that when the right guy or person comes along, you, and you, it'll be nice. No. You just have to welcome it. Don't expect anything. Just be happy where you are right now, and it'll work out. Thank you, don't Oprah. Be so, don't be so down on yourself. Didn't know we had Oprah Winfrey. Do you have any yes. tips? <laughs> that, was, that was spiritual. Thank that you. was. No, that's great Welcome. advice. Great advice. I'm what, just what's your sure. advice? Give, give me something. Honestly. What are you doing? Like, what do you, when you go home and you're like, I'm kind of lonely, what do you do? <laughs> yeah, what do you do? Do you like you're suck like, up with I a don't really pillow? Agree with, <laughs> how, like a, how, like how a big body okay? pillow. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that. Honestly, I've had my share of relationships, and I am okay as an independent woman. Good. Even during the lonely good season. For you. Yes, I got honey. good. I got good girlfriends. Good. I got you That's guys. Need. Oh, yes. I, Sing it. I think I'm okay. Good for you. Sing it. Sing it. Louder for the people in the back. Mm -hmm. Tips uh -huh. for a lonely night. Warm blanket. Some Kleenex for your tears. I do have a heated blanket. That gets me through. If oh. I do have a vice. That would be it. And honestly, <laughs> those body pillows, I think, are lifesavers. I've been I'm, wanting one. Yeah, I'm kind of in a newer relationship. I've seen you. Cuffing I, season. I like yeah, those, those big, Jackie. Big pillows. Can we talk pillows. about that? How's that going for you? It's going good. <laughs> Have uh. you guys ever seen those, like, anime boyfriend <laughs> pillows? Yes. <laughs> those are so funny. Mm -hmm. I want one. I want one, too. <laughs> With, like, a big face on it. Yes. Oh, Halloween's my. coming up. Couples costumes. That might be another reason Ooh. for cuffing season. Everyone mm -hmm. wants to do a yep. couple's costume. Everyone does. Everyone does. Everyone. Yes. Everyone. Every single Everyone. person in the whole world. What would your ideal couple costume be? Let's think about it. Let's get some. So this stuff. Halloween, this don't take my idea. Oh no, nope, I don't um, have a boo. It's okay. I'm gonna do Rick and Morty, which I got off of somebody else's um, Instagram, and so the girl dresses up as a as a little Morty, and then the boy dresses up as Rick, uh, or vice versa. I guess it doesn't really matter. And then I'm gonna do um, Kurt Cobain and Courtney Love. Ooh, that's a so. Beautiful love story for the ages. Mm. One we should really take a lot of hint or tips from. You no. know, I if I get in a relationship, I want it to be like Kurt Cobain and Courtney Love. Said no one. I ever. do. No, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. If I could do a couple's costume, I don't care who the other person is. I want to be Doofenshmirtz. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> You can pick your match. You can be Perry. You can be Phineas. Perry, that'd be you can so do cute. Anyone. I'm Doofenshmirtz. Perry is the one who fights <laughs> That's him, it. so that would be the most accurate, I think. Yeah, probably. Doofenshmirtz <laughs> Evil Incorporated. That would be legendary. I forgot about that guy. The tri-state area. <laughs> what do you guys think are the most common um, couples costumes? Just rattle them off. Um, an overly happy girl and a miserable guy. <laughs> what? Just kidding. <laughs> I think. Thank you. I Did you get it? it? Yeah. I no, um, hope, hope you guys. Oh, I like the one. I like the one with Curious George. Yeah, that's a cute one. And the monkey. Very cute. That's cute. I, I like the little um, squints and squints and Wendy. Wendy Peppercorn. Oh, peppercorn. Or whatever. Oh, yeah. Peppercorn. Squints. Yeah. I thought, I thought you said squints. That was. I thought you made up a word. But yeah, that's I a really cute one too. I, I like see that. a lot of like prisoner and like cop. You know Ew. what I mean? Yeah. Nurse hey, and doctor. At least they have Nurse handcuffs. Nurse doctor. Oh. Doctor love. Mm. Do Whoa. Call me Dr. Love. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Well, it has been a wonderful show. I hope you guys are feeling confident going into cuffing season and confident to stay single. What? 
whatever. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. I hope you enjoyed your time. Any other comments? Nope. See you we'll next see time. See you next time. Thank you. <laughs>